is a beautiful day. And no, this hot guy in the shorts, I'm not checking him out. Well, I am checking him out, but I know him. So it's okay that I'm getting video. So here's me and Freddie biking in Central Park. Say hi, Freddie. And, uh, oh, shirtless guy jog. Yes, honey. Okay, back to me. Um, so, Freddie wanted to be spontaneous, so we grabbed some city bikes and we're biking through Central Park, which I never do. I love this. And so, uh, the laundry is in the dryer. We're going for a bike ride. In one hour, I have to be in the shower, and then I have a coaching call at 2.30, 30 minutes after my shower. And uh, one day we will abolish this cruel, inhumane practice. Sorry, if you see something, say something. And then I have a corporate uh, headshot client that just emailed me like, hey, I have like four or five people who want to come in today for headshots. So I uh, have to be at the studio at 3.30 for a quick photo shoot. Uh, so, you know, nice. Wake up, take a bike ride, do some laundry, make a little money. And then right after that, I'm going to an awards show tonight. I'm going to reunite with the cast of Street Theater and uh, see if we won the New York Innovative Theater Award. And now I'm going to try not to get hit by a car. Freddie asked for an impromptu tap lesson. So here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four, <laughs> keep all your weight on your left foot. And one, and two, and three, and four. Ooh, a monarch. Ooh, a monarch. Really clean, really. Right after Central Park and all that serenity, there's nothing like biking through midtown Manhattan traffic. Isn't that right? Beautiful day for it, huh? Okay, so I'm in a hurry to get home, but there is always time, there's always time for a bagel of token cream cheese, always. Something I really hate about New York City is that here they don't say wait in line, wait in line, they say wait on line. If you're online, an internet connection should be involved. All right, I am getting to my studio very, very late. Not very late, but I'm at the latest possible time that I can make it here and still have enough time to set up for my clients. Busy day ahead. All right, I'm here in my studio with not a lot of time to set up. When I say my studio, I don't, I'm not always in the same studio. It's usually on this floor. Today, it's not my usual studio. It's not my preferred studio but it'll work. And I have 10 minutes to set up. Let's see if I can make 10 minutes work. Go. How does the iPhone just decide to disconnect and just stop recording in the middle of me recording a time lapse of me setting up my studio? Really? I fucking hate iPhone.
Everyone well, like it. I think I might try not to. Well, <laughs> I would strongly advise it. And then, by the way, right. well, I'm just going to adjust the lights a tiny bit, and I'll let you know when we're doing the real thing, okay? So give me one second. I'm going to do a quick test shot first. Perfect. There we go. And I'll bring one foot forward and one foot back. In, in towards that front foot. Two not just a bit. Great. Just nice and relaxed and keep the eyes nice and bright. Right? Like you're listening to someone and you're loving what you're hearing. Great. That's exactly it. Fake laugh. Just <laughs> Wait, one more. Hey! Great. Great. And now, like, you know something we don't know. Great. Chin up a tiny bit. Great. And one last. Hey. Hey. Eyes nice and bright. Blinky like eyes for me. They're nice and bright like two butterflies. It's tough work, isn't it? Yeah. We got it. That's all. Thank you so much. And that's your jack. You do a little retouching. This is so New York City. Look at this. Just, yeah, you got a room with a view. What's the view? Oh, you know, just everyone's air conditioner. You know. No big deal. Sound speeds. Fuck, where did the little thing go? And that, if I did my homework, that is a really tight shot. Let's try that. How about that? Better? Overexposed? And that should be perfect. Well, hey everyone, it's me. Uh, I know you're not used to seeing me in such perfect high HD resolution. Uh, I'm in my portrait studio, just finished uh, with four clients back to back. It is now about two minutes after five. So I feel a little freaky right now. I don't feel like I feel creeped out. I feel like I must be a terrifying sight. Well, cause A, I don't look my best. I am a little shiny. Better, better-ish. Anyway, um, so this is me in my studio. I have a backdrop behind me with a, with a spotlight on it. Uh, there's a light, there's a, a main 1000 watt light here, and there's a 500 watt light here, and a silver gold reflector disc right in front of me. Actually, the reflector disc would probably look a lot better if it was BAM right underneath me here. Now, I probably look a lot better. So anyway, uh, and I also clipped the microphone to my shirt so that I, because the, the, the microphone on the uh, camera is not great. So I clipped my microphone to my shirt, and where is that plugged into? Not the camera, that cord's way too short. It's plugged into my phone, and it's currently recording, even while my phone's turned off in my pocket and I later will sync up the audio because I did one of these and that will help me actually match up the audio to the video. Now, I'm, this is not how I would ideally have my setup for my vlog because this is a lot of production value for a simple check-in. Um, but uh, it's just showing you guys like what's possible. For anyone who contributed to my fundraiser earlier, my fundraiser helped me get this camera, um, and it helped me get the computer that I do my editing on, and it will help me get more lighting like this for my home studio, which I'm still building, so that once I have my cooking show back online, and I can do other video projects, I can do a talk show, my vlog, a lot of the other stuff in my studio. So. Um, all of this lighting and all of this setup to be able to uh, talk to you guys on camera, and I don't really don't have anything to say. I will say this camera angle, like I, you can't see me gesturing with my hands because it's too close. I'm gonna switch to a different, um, different lens. Give me one second. That should be just right. That is so much better, and for sound, yeah, that looks good, right? It's probably a little underexposed. That, that, that should be perfect. 
Um, okay, it is almost 5.10, I gotta run. I have a coaching call in 38 minutes and I will take me about 15, 20 minutes to get out of here and then about another 15 minutes to get home and change and get to the awards ceremony. I'm trying to gesture with my arms just because I can, but I don't really have much to say. So uh, I photographed four people today. Um, that was awesome, it went really well. I tried to get a little bit of footage of me setting up the studio and then me actually doing the photo shoots. Hopefully the people I photographed don't show up in the video because I don't want to like, I don't have their consent to put them in the video. Um, but uh, I thought it would just be kind of cool to share with you guys a little bit of my photo style so you see what it's like when I work with uh, clients. I wish I could show you the actual pictures that I took, but like it's a corporate client. I'm not about to... It's been over three weeks now of my daily vlog and I've never got to show you guys me in my photo studio. And I've never got to show you guys um, me as a drag queen. Um, we haven't done that yet, so... But you'll, you'll see that soon enough. Tonight you will probably see a little bit of me uh, watching my drag daughter at her performance tonight at Boots and Saddle, if I make it there in time. For all I know, we might win the award for best show, best ensemble, and then we'll be out partying all night, which would be also kind of awesome. Anyway, I gotta run. I have so much to do. I'll see you later. Bye. I would never normally have a suitcase on top of a garbage can. I only set it there so I could balance my camera on something because I didn't bring a tripod so I could film that last bit on my video camera. Okay, I wasted some time in the studio, so I'm in a huge hurry to get home, and I love that I'm able to just, whew, I love that I'm able to just hop on a bike. Even though it's not a long walk home, I don't have time to walk home. And a car won't be any faster, so I love that I can just hop on a bike. And I'm back home in no time. Look at this. I'm a half block away from docking my bike right now. And I have seven whole minutes before I have to be on a phone call. Woo! I just biked like a bat out of hell to get here. And I'm here with like five minutes to spare. Apparently the award ceremony starts like right on time. So five minutes to spare, it's not five minutes to spare. It's just on time. I can't stand when places think they're so fancy, they don't need to give you an address. So the address is 68th Street between Park and Lex. Like yeah, we're on 68th Street. North side of the street, south side of the street. So anyway, I'm looking for it right now. Ah, here it is. And it's just sort of hitting me right now. I'm an actor in New York City on my way to an awards show for a show that I'm in that got nominated for an award. Like, if I'm just thinking of today is one more thing I gotta check off my to-do list, then I'm really missing out on like my actual life. This is my actual life. This is pretty cool. I got this. A little congratulations and a, uh, a thing. Here's the thing. I am the smallest role in this show, and we do it every summer. Um, but it got me thinking, like, how cool will it be to get an award for my own show? Like, I should get back to writing my own shows and performing my own material. Hey! Hey, 
nominees. I love my <laughs> This is it. This is it. Hey, Jimmy. Oh, congratulations. Oh my god, look at us. Uh, we're like a big deal. Go go smush up on Kitty over there. Hey guys. Hi. Congratulations. Hi. Hey. Hi. I saw the show and you guys were like amazing. And now, the part that you've really been wanting me here for, <laughs> I'm very happy to be here tonight to present this award and to celebrate this amazing community. Outstanding Ensemble. Connected, Project Live Theater. <laughs> For the Secret Lives of Edward Gordon. Project <laughs> Theater. Street Theater. goes to the golfer. <laughs> thank you so very, very much. Uh, thank you to the IT Awards, or IT, I guess we're saying now, the IT. Um, thank you uh, to the judges and uh, the audience members who voted for us. Uh, on, I'm the director designer of the golfer. First of all, we all have to thank uh, most of all the playwright, Brian Parks. He wrote a really amazing script that actors could just kill in. He is the recipient of the Dramatist Guild Lifetime Achievement Award as well as the Lucille Lortel Lifetime Achievement Award. Please welcome Terrence McNally. <laughs> Hillary, 937, Trump, zero, and that's at the bottom of the first inning. <laughs> right, I love me the envelope. Okay, the winner is Street Theater. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Terrence McNally is handing us an award. He won the Lifetime Achievement Award in um, 2007. Um, Michael, do you want to come up and talk for a second? Michael Lynch has been in the street theater back from the very beginning. I don't know the street theater. There are some people that need to be back, but not here. That was the Auckland. We would all be sitting here about the great floor. I was just watching a show and now we're like backstage doing See? stuff. This is so weird. No, no, this line is going to be really good. Oh, that's good. Oh, geez. Come on, oh, yeah. Yes. Please have an addition. Oh, Bravo. Oh, <laughs> 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 so this is the cast of Street Theater. This is what a room full of winners looks like, you know. No big deal. You guys, I mean, winning isn't everything. It's just what we're experiencing at the moment. It's just everything right now. It's just how our night is going. That's all. Can I get you with this? Sure. 
This is our director, Mark Robert Finley. Thank you for putting me in the show. Yeah, you're welcome. Wedding show. Okay, and this is our award. Uh, the 2016 oh, Outstanding great. Revival of a Play <laughs> Street Theater. Look at Yay. that. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So Terrence McNally is being interviewed. Uh, and that's going to take a while. So this is Christopher Borg, also from <laughs> Street Theater. <laughs> I'm going with him. We're getting our back. I was going to say, after, I only thought we were nominated for Ensemble. I didn't know we were also nominated for Best Revival. Oh, that's because you don't read emails. I don't. I get a lot of emails. I'm very popular. No big deal. Here's me. Here's me. Terrence McNally. Me? Terrence McNally. Terrence McNally. Scrunchion, and if everybody can find a spot to take. It wasn't easy, but we got this whole crew in one spot. These are the recipients of the revival of a play for street theater. Tell us about it, and Doric, and, and the, the, the story behind it. If you don't know street theater, give us a little rundown. Um, uh, it was produced by Meridian Theater at the uh, Mine Shaft when the downtown meat racks was the downtown meat racks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was there the night Elton John was thrown out of the mine shaft. Holy perfume. Well, that's Elton John. I mean, when I met Doric, anybody who knew Doric knew that he was just, he was this personality that was just larger than life and he was so loving and he just, he, he loved everybody in this play. He loved all of these characters, all of his friends, and he, he loved being an activist and, and standing up for what he believed in. Uh, I'm Ben Strothman. I play Michael. I think we've been, I've been with the show since 2009, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, and what I love about this show is, like, for my friends who don't know our history, I'm like, come see this show and you'll get our history and be entertained. Yeah. Now, I just need to share this. So I'm just getting a little update on a film that I did with this guy and this guy and this guy, this gal. Thanks. What? Uh, we are going to Kukuloris, and we have a trans film in a state that passed laws against trans people using bathrooms. How amazing is that? And apparently our short film is in three film festivals. Three, and one of them is in Africa. How many film festivals is your film in? Huh? So much. I am Desmond Dutcher and I am Gordon. I play Gordon. He's with Jordan. Uh, representing, uh, so we're, we're with us in spirit tonight would be Jonathan Soldano. I've been lucky enough to be with I already spoke a lot, so I'll keep it brief. But, uh...